Here in the East, we continue to follow a story we first brought you several weeks ago about super lice in the state. One parent is now coming forward in Edgecombe County saying her child possibly got the super lice from school. It's a story all parents need to see. WNCT's Josh Birch reports from Pine Tops. February 8th is when I discovered at home that she had head lice. The second time was last Wednesday. Two unexplained cases of head lice on her daughter has Jenny Johnson scratching her head. How can my child go to school with her head clean and then four and a half hours later I go to pick her up and she's got a head full of lice. They're all adult lice. Her daughter is a student at Carver Elementary School. When Johnson raised the question to her daughter's teacher, the response was a text that said, I'm not sure. Per school policy, anytime a child is found with head lice, they're sent home with instructions to give to their parents about how to manage the problem. Was your daughter ever sent home from school? Never sent home from school. Johnson says it took days to get rid of the lice because they wouldn't respond to typical treatment. It was a mixture of Listerine and coconut oil. I reached out to Edgecombe County Schools who told me this was the only case found at Carver Elementary. In a statement, they say the school nurse and staff work with parents to find effective treatments. After that, the student is allowed to return to school. Dr. John Amara with the Pitt County Health Department predicted super lice were present in the east. I haven't seen resistant cases personally. Uh, that didn't respond to, to over-the-counter medications, but I'm sure there are some, and they're probably here in eastern North Carolina. Johnson's message to other parents? They should be checking their children's heads um, every day. In Pine Tops, Josh Birch, not in your side. Johnson actually kept one of the dead lice on a piece of duct tape. She says she hopes to take it to a local health department to get it tested.